Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, February 11, 2017. And um, I wanted to uh, talk about a couple of things with you. And, um, you know, um, when we turn on the news, all we're seeing is um, the... Um, the left warring against the right and the right warring against the left and um, we are um, we only see the political analysts on TV talking about what this one said and what that one said and I don't agree with it and I'm going to stop it meanwhile there are other really really uh, important things taking place that people are not paying attention to now <clears throat> I've said in plenty of other videos that our economy is a big Ponzi scheme by the elite and they're just printing more money with nothing to back it up okay and um, because they depleted it you know they sucked it dry uh, for their for their own enrichment the elite and um, like what happened in Venezuela, you know, the co economy collapsed there and there's no food and everything. It's like hyperinflation. Uh, well, something is happening in Brazil. And you're not seeing this on the news. And um, what's happening in Brazil is their economy has collapsed. There isn't enough money to pay the policemen in a part of Brazil called Espirito Santos, which uh, I'm going to say providentially means Holy Spirit, okay? And um, because the police now are not coming to the aids of the people because they can't get paid, they're not getting paid, there's vigilantism, uh, there's uh, crime, people are killing each other in the streets. This is what it could look like here uh, when the government decides uh, to pull the plug and crash our economy. Now, the only thing that is protecting us from this happening right now is the restrainer and the restrainer is the Holy Spirit because the children of God the church the bride of Christ is still here okay I think it's very um, supernatural that um, we getting to see what it's going to be like through a place called Espirito Santos Okay, I don't think that's a coincidence. And there's dead bodies all over the streets. Uh, there's at least, uh, I mean, I've heard the last count I've heard was 100, but I'm sure it's more than that. Because uh, as the hours go by, you know, this is like the Wild West now. Only thing these stuff aren't people that are trained on how to use their guns either, you know. Um, I want to show you a video here, okay? So you can uh, see what the what our our um, our media is not reporting. Hi, folks, Canadian Prepper here. I just want to draw your attention to something that hasn't been getting a lot of airplay in the independent media lately, or on the mainstream media for that matter, and it's these Brazilian riots in the state of Espirito Santo, which is a small state. I believe it's in the southeastern part of Brazil. And what's happened here is that the police have went on strike. Brazil uh, has a share of issues, corruption, um, high crime rates, stuff like that. But for the most part, it is a relatively developed country. So, I mean, if this can happen there, this can pretty much happen anywhere. So, I think over the past four days, they're estimating that 90 people have been killed and 200 lootings have been committed. I don't really, this is Al Jazeera that I'm reading here, so I'm not really sure what they're 
classifying as a looting, but based on the footage that I've seen, and I'm going to post a link in the description, this footage is pretty crazy. I mean, it looks like it's something out in the purge, and normally I don't comment too much on current events, but I figured that this was quite relevant considering you know, the severity, and uh, with all our talk about breakdown without rule of law, this is something that could take shape, particularly in America. This is how quickly things can get out of control. Within four days, the homicide rate has gone up 650%, and that's just what's being reported. Now, since then, the military has been brought in, and this isn't a small state. I believe there's about 4 million people within this state and it's a very small state geographically speaking it is uh, probably a high population density so you're getting like street battles there's all kinds of footage of people uh, shooting each other in the streets carjackings just mass looting you know people being pulled out of their vehicles being beaten it's a pretty serious situation now the military has been called in i believe they sent in 1000 soldiers and uh, they're saying that that's not sufficient, so they're wanting um, them, that to be increased, and I think they are going to increase this. But uh, this is something you should probably look into if you want to get a sense of what could happen in lots of American cities, especially the ones where there's lots of poverty and lots of crime already. You can pretty much bet that that is going to be magnified. So this is what without rule of law is going to look like and this is just the first four days and this is rather consistent with the whole idea of nine meals away from anarchy and as far as i can see a lot of these people aren't looting stuff that they need they're just they're still in that phase where they're looting on the basis of their wants you know they're looting tvs that kind of thing they're not looting food so just imagine if there was actually deprivation thrown into the mix how bad and how uh, widespread this disaster would become. And the reason why the police are going on strike is that they feel that they're underpaid, they're overworked, and the working conditions aren't that great. Obviously, they feel like they're poorly equipped to do the jobs that they're doing. And as we approach these these times of austerity, you know, you're going to see more and more of this, not just in these uh, developing countries. Uh, Brazil is, as much as it's a developed country, it's still developing in certain areas. There's definitely a large discrepancy between rich and poor there. So yeah, you're going to see more and more of this. So stay prepped, stay ready. Don't forget to strong survive and prepare to thrive. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. And now I want to show you uh, another video. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Illuminati Exposed. Today, I'm going to show you guys a real quick video that I stumbled across on Richie from Boston's channel. I will leave a link in the description down below to his channel in case you guys are curious. Great channel, tons of content on there. Um, but we are going to look at this video where Tr Donald Trump essentially states why a one world currency is coming. And he also says that it's coming faster than a lot of us think it might be. I know most people, if you say one world currency, they wouldn't even think that it was possible at all. But a lot of my viewers and a lot of you guys believe that it is definitely on its way and coming soon. And basically this confirms it. Let's take a look at the video. As far as uh, the currency devaluations. I've been complaining about that for a long time. And I believe that we will all eventually, and probably very much sooner than a lot of people understand or think, we will be all on a level playing field. Because that's the only way it's fair. That's the only way that you can fairly compete in trade and other things. And we Okay. Uh, that's a lie. Because he's supposed to make our economy great again. Okay. And um, it's really because the elite have sucked all the economies around the world dry. And uh, this is what he's saying here means it's not fair 
And uh, what what is what is when he says not fair? What does that really mean? Does that mean that we can't be more prosperous than another country? Okay, which is really the American way, which he was promoting. Let's make America great again, not let's make it fair for all countries and make one currency. I think it's very interesting that a few months ago he took all his stocks and he pulled out of the stock market. Okay. All right. So uh, if you have gone in to read Agenda 2030, which is the floor plan for the One World Order, you will see there that they have to depopulate the country in order to take control. And in order to take control, they have to turn the whole world into Brazil so that the um, there's no food, no water, uh, people are getting killed, and now the people that have not prepared, which is most people, the people that are not awake, okay, are going to be uh, the, get, uh, look for martial law, the government, to come in and save them. And this is where now people in the streets will be pulled into, into camps and uh, given provisions, okay, and that's when they'll have to mark everybody in order to see who's getting what and 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 um you won't be able to eat or buy or sell or do anything because of course it won't be fair okay so you have to be part of this one world order to be um um provided for okay your houses will be taken away um in this agenda uh 2020 there's um a certain portion of the world that is for living quarters it's kind of like a big apartment complex uh, everybody is the same it's communism okay and if you don't accept this you'll die and if along with this will be a one world religion and if you don't denounce Jesus Christ they'll put your head in the guillotine and you'll get your head cut off plain and simple you want to believe it believe it you don't want to believe it that's your prerogative but this is where everything is headed and other things notice that real quick other things i wonder what that would entail and other things and we will be on that field and we will all be working very hard to do great for our country when i heard this I wanted to throw up on him. Not that I had any faith in him, but it's because I can see where he's going now. Okay. I knew where he was going before because I believe in Jesus Christ, but now he's starting to reveal things that are very communistic. But it has to be fair and we will make it fair. I think the United States is going to be an even bigger player than it is right now by a lot when it comes to trade. A lot of that will have to do with our tax policy, which you... So basically, uh, he states that we'll be on a level playing field. Um, and the reason why a one world currency is very dangerous is because that then allows them to control the entire world more easily as i said in my previous video it's the same thing with religion say so he just said what i said control the world with one currency okay the reason why we had all different currencies was because if one country's economy failed another country's economy who wasn't failing could come to the aid of that other country but now, if every country has the same currency, we're at the mercy of the powers that are ruling. And it's one power. Satan. When all people are one, it is more easy to control all people. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a great day. There you go.
okay people you have to get your head out of the world you have to stop what you're doing stop going through life as if tomorrow is going to be the same as today because the Lord says when he comes everything will change in an instant and the world the way we know it will never be the same again we are living in the last days you need to believe that you need to accept Jesus Christ because that's the only safe place the Lord will provide for his children and protect his children those that believe in him don't be lukewarm he will spit you out of his mouth if you sit on the fence 